Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. Continuing to our previous video. In our previous video we have installed a fresh exchange server and we have configured the role group. We assign multiple roles to the role group and given a permission to the administrator. Now in this video we will learn about exchange server recipient types. If you see this screen with the recipients, we have an option like mailboxes, groups, resources, contact, shared and migration. Migration we will not be discussing in this video, but we will be discussing about the mailboxes like what is a user mailbox and what are the linked mailbox. Also we will be discussing about groups like what are the dynamic distribution group, distribution group and security groups, what are the resources mailboxes we will discuss about the contact like mail contact mail user and what is the shared mailbox so let's see what are these recipient types our first recipient type is mailbox and it has a two categories like user mailbox and linked mailbox if you talk about a user mailbox it is basically assigned to a active directory user where he can manage and send and receive his emails he can manage his calendars and contacts total he is responsible for this mailbox and if you create active directory user the uh, mailbox is not created automatically but if you create a mailbox in a exchange admin center the, at that time the Active Directory user is automatically created and if you want to assign a user mailbox to a previously created user in Active Directory you have to enable the mail feature for that particular user and link mailbox is something like uh, you will be dealing with this uh, linked mailbox if you have a trust between two different domain forests and the mailbox is not resided inside the organization where the exchange is deployed it is in other organization and the mailbox is linked our second recipient type is groups and we have three categories like distribution group security group and dynamic distribution group if you talk about the distribution group it is to distribute the email to the uh, members of a particular group like if you have ex example like if you have a department like HR department account department and you want uh, to send an email so that all the members of account department or HR department may receive that email you can just create a distribution group and you can send email on that distribution group and all the members of that particular distribution group will receive email so besides sending email to an individual you can send email to a distribution group and the mail will be received by all the users and the security group is the second one it's a mail enabled security group can distribute the message to a group but it is basically it is used for providing permission like setting up the permission in the active directory resources and the third one is a dynamic distribution group dynamic distribution group is a great way to add members automatically you can add members based on like filters and condition uh, you can take an example like if you have a user a b and c and they work for a audit department when you see their properties in your active directory and you have set their organization and you have set their department like the audit department here their organization name or region or the building or the floor you have set that properties then you can create a dynamic distribution group and apply a filter at that time that filter and condition like the people who are matching the criteria of a particular organization particular department like a audit department particular organization region or a building and you can create that group the user the next user or a newly created user matching that criteria will be automatically added to that distribution group the next one is a contact and mail contact is a contact for people outside your exchange organization 
that means that every uh, mail contact will have an external email address that means whenever you will send uh, the e email to that uh, mail contact uh, the mail will be sent to the outside to your exchange organization that means there will be a no active directory user there will be only a mail contact and mail user is also a similar to a mail contact that means a uh, active directory user having a email address that is a uh, residing outside your exchange organization that means the mail user will have a external email address but it will have a logon credential in our active directory and it can access resources in our active directory but the mail contact cannot access the resources it will be only a email address our next recipient type is resources and the subcategories are room mailbox and equipment mailbox the room mailbox is a resource mailbox that is assigned to a physical location you can say the computer room your conference room or a training room etc user can easily reserve these rooms by including room mailboxes in their meeting request that means if they send a meeting request and they include the room mailbox inside it the mailbox uses the option whether the invitation should be accepted or not if the invitation is accepted that means you can uh, use that particular training room and if it is denied that means someone else is already using it at that time and the next one is equipment mailbox the equipment mailbox is also a resource mailbox but it is not a uh, location specific that means it's not including a room or something else it is related to the equipment like you have a computer company car or a uh, microphone user can easily reserve this equipment by including equipment mailbox in a member request uh, if the request has been accepted that means at that time you can use that particular computer or you can use that particular microphone at that time if someone is already using it at that time at the meeting the request will be denied our next recipient type is shared mailbox shared mailbox is a mailbox uh, which can be shared with the multiple users to send and receive the email messages it can be used for uh, basically for a centralized service like help desk or a customer service if someone is not available uh, for uh, weekends and you want uh, someone to reply on those emails like if you have a missed chats missed voicemails coming to that email and you want someone in a team to reply that means you can share a mailbox and you can assign that e uh, mailbox to particular uh, team members so that they can reply to uh, that particular email shared mailbox doesn't have its own username and passwords user uh, cannot log in directly to that shared mailbox so in order to access that uh, shared mailbox user should be granted a permission to as a send as or as a full permission and he will try to log in on its own mailbox and inside the outlook he will see the shared mailbox connecting with its outlook there is one more thing to know about the disconnected mailboxes these are like disabled mailbox and soft deleted mailbox uh, when a mailbox is deleted or disabled exchange retains those deleted mailboxes in the in its database and it switch it to a disabled state the difference between disable and deleted uh, mailbox is that when you disable the mailbox that means the exchange attribute from the active directory for to a particular user are removed but the user is retained that means the mailbox will be deleted exchange attribute will be deleted but the active directory user will be there and if you delete the mailbox that means exchange attributes and the uh, active directory account will be also deleted and uh, if you disable or delete the mailbox it uh, keeps a record like it keeps that mailbox till the 
30 days of retention period and once that retention period is uh, over it will delete uh, the mailbox permanently that is called a purge as well and a soft delete means uh, if you are moving your mailbox from old uh, exchange server to a new database of exchange that means the old uh, exchange database will mark that mailbox as a soft delete and will uh, retain that uh, for a 30 days of retention period and after that it will be deleted or you can run the command to uh, remove that particular mailbox I hope you have learned something from this video so guys please do subscribe the channel for more coming updates and in our next video we are going to create these recipients we will create mailboxes we will create distribution group and we will see how to manage these so let's meet in our next video